Should you be deleting negative comments on your YouTube videos and what implications might that have for your channel? Well, sit back and find out because we're starting right now. Hey everyone, what is up? This is Tim of the People's Bookkeeper where we always hit the mark. Make your mark in business too and share it on YouTube. Do that by subscribing now and turning on the bell notification. So let's take a look at what this topic is all about and why you're the ultimate decision maker for which comments stay and which comments go on your channel. Now we've all dealt with the haters and the trolls and the bullies coming onto our channels and leaving those really nasty and negative comments. Sometimes the comments are very rude, they're disparaging, they might attack other audience members as well. And they might even try to make us feel badly about our content and our videos, our channel, and other things that we're doing as well. And you might be left with the question of wondering what you should do about that and whether or not you should delete those comments, get rid of them, or just leave them in place. Well, as the channel owner, you need to remember that you're responsible ultimately for your own mental well-being and that of your audience members. This is a space that you've created for your community and they want to be able to come in and feel safe in that space. And as the channel owner, it's up to you to make sure that people feel comfortable enough to be able to post and interact with each other. After all, that's what having this space on your YouTube channel is all about. You see, trolls and haters are just trying to come in to destroy what you've spent time building up. And is it just me or did you ever notice that about 99% of these haters and trolls have no videos of their own? They find it super easy to criticize and tear down what others have built up because of the fact that they're sitting behind a computer. They're too afraid to share anything of their own, so they try to tear down other people's work. My recommendation is not to let them get to you. If the comment is extremely rude and disparaging, the best strategy for you as a small content creator is to simply delete that comment. And I know that's challenging because as a small YouTuber, you really want to have that boost from the algorithm with the engagement on your videos. However, you have to keep in mind that those negative comments could possibly infect the rest of your channel and anyone coming into that isn't going to feel very comfortable if a message is left there that's really rude. So as a small YouTuber, I'd highly recommend that you delete that comment and block that person from being able to come back and make any other remarks in the future. Remember that for every bully that comes on and leaves one of those comments, you're going to have hundreds if not thousands of other people who will be very supportive and kind as you're growing your channel. Don't let that one hateful comment ruin what you've built up. There are tons of other great content creators out there who will give you critical comments, but they'll do it in a nice way that will actually really help you grow and become a better content creator. Now I will say if you're a big channel, you may want to consider a slightly different approach to this. Though of course, this is entirely up to each individual channel owner to make their own decision on which strategy to employ. There will be negative comments that will get through that you'll never see. But at this point, you may decide that you want to leave that comment up for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's highly unlikely that anyone's even going to respond to it. So this person who's left this nasty remark is going to realize that you don't care. And if you have a lot of loyal audience members, they're likely going to jump in and defend you anyways. The other point is that it just really makes them look ridiculous. Now, if someone makes a really rude remark about another person, then definitely you should delete that and block the person. But if it's simply a rude remark that they've left that makes them look ridiculous, then remember, it still counts as engagement on your video. So this person that's actually trying to tear you down is actually helping you instead. And ultimately, as we've talked about in previous videos, the engagement factor is the most important thing for the algorithm. So you really need to use your judgment on a case-by-case -case basis with the comments that come in that are nasty or negative. One of the biggest keys for you on YouTube to be successful is to develop that thick skin and not let those nasty remarks get to you. You need to stop caring what other people have to say when they leave a really negative comment. And I know we're just people and it's easy to say that and it's another thing when you get the comment and it's hurtful. But please don't let it get to you because you're doing something that you love doing and you're putting your passion out there and you're putting yourself out there and that's to be applauded. Don't feed the trolls. 
after a little while, they're going to go away because they're going to realize that nobody cares what they have to say about anything. So start to get yourself in that mindset right now of not caring what these negative people have to say about your videos. It will do wonders for your mental health and your well-being. Now if you want to make your mark on YouTube, then check out these videos over here. They'll help you grow your channel. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider subscribing. Click my face and you'll do just that. I'll see you in the next video.